Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate Sugar Up Roller Skates. I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center today to talk to you about how to be safe while skating, okay? And this is like personally safe, not like safety equipment, to how to be personally safe when you're roller skating, okay. Skaters, today's video is brought to you by Wicked Skatewear. They're here in Huntington Beach, California and can get you everything you need for skates. Got a brick and mortar store and they're online. Wickedskatewear.com. Go see them, skates, plates, wheels, bearings, toe stops, toe guards, laces. My Lord, they got everything. Just go to the website now and start perusing. Buy yourself something, you deserve it. All right, skaters, so. Today's video is me talking to you. I just want you to know, I will be playing the part of your fairy skate godmother. Cause trust, I know that I'm older than the vast majority of you and I got some stuff to tell you, some advice to give. Just take it from a Gen Xer, okay? Let's talk about how to be safe when you're skating, particularly outdoors. Okay, I'm gonna give you some tips, some strategies, some attitudes, some behaviors that are gonna be helpful to you. It, this mostly applies to skating outdoors. Later on, I'll do a video and we'll talk more about skate etiquette indoors, but outdoors is where sometimes we can feel unsafe just rolling around, okay? That's, so that's what we're gonna talk about today, so stick with me now. The reason why I'm even doing this video is I was perusing social media and I saw an exchange in a beginner intermediate group online. And the question was about how to feel safe because a particular skater was running into incidences, moments where they felt unsafe outdoors as far as their interactions with other people most particularly men but you know really it could be anybody okay so we're going to talk about that so when i was reading this thing i was interested because i was like okay let's see what see what's happening here this person went out skating they were approached by someone they felt unsafe da 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 da, -da, -da. you know it goes on and on. I'm not gonna go through the whole story because if you are a skater, I know you have been skating outdoors and you have had some interaction with someone that made you feel unsafe. Okay, so trust and believe I've been skating forever and I have logged many an hour outdoors and I have encountered every kind of situation you could possibly encounter outdoors while skating. Now, I'm not here to tell you not to skate outdoors or to make you fearful of skating outdoors. I'm just telling you, coming from experience, I've got some strategies. I've got some uh, behaviors. I got some things that I think you should do, some preparatory tactics, okay? that you can do to feel safe. Now, what I was most surprised at was all the comments. The comments were super enthusiastic, but they were in this crazy vein of, you should have mace, you should have a knife. One person was like, just bring a gun. I was like, really? <laughs> really? So I should be packing all that? So I should have some mace here, got a knife here, got a gun. I mean, people, are you crazy? Are you nuts? Listen, if you're learning how to skate, I think that the first time you go to use a knife in a combative manner, you're gonna mace someone in the face, you're gonna fire off a gun, probably shouldn't be one of the times where you're on roller skates, okay? That's not a good time. I mean, I can't imagine the backfire when you take out a gun and you go to unload it on someone and you're on skates. I gotta say this, your backward skating skills better be on par, okay? I mean, this is kind of crazy here's the other thing if you whip out mace a knife guns on a person that you feel uncomfortable with that you feel threatened by what if their response to that is challenge accepted and they pull something out you have now possibly unnecessarily escalated a situation Remember, you are on roller skates. This is not a good idea, okay? So let's just set our weapons aside, okay? Because I'm just gonna, I'm also gonna assume that you guys are nice people and you probably haven't been in a real fight, okay? Now Gen Xers, that's my generation. Okay, we've been in a fight or two. I'm just gonna say that. So 
I'm not talking to you because you know what's up. Okay, other people, you've probably not been in a fight, like a real fight, okay? The first time you get in a fight, I don't want it to be with you on roller skates. Okay, so let's talk about a different reaction to this scenario. So you're out there skating and you see something and it doesn't feel right. Usually it's someone approaching you and you're looking and you're thinking, hmm, you know that person's gonna talk to me. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be a natural, friendly conversation. You know this in your gut, but as women, we try to push that feeling down and start reminding ourselves to be polite. Be polite. Oh, if someone says something to us, we have to speak to them. We have to talk to them. We have to be nice. Oh my God, we have to be helpful to someone we do not know in a situation in which we feel vulnerable. Why do we feel vulnerable? Well, we're already on skates. We're on skates. Maybe we don't feel that good about being on skates. We're not that comfortable. Number two, we're generally in an area that we're not completely safe with. Like we may not be right in front of our house, okay? We may not be at our workplace. We're out in public somewhere, okay? And then someone is literally coming into your space, coming over and wanting to talk to you. In your mind, you see that this is going to happen, but you're not sure what's going to happen. Now, let me just tell you, the best advice I ever got was from my dad and my dad told me your best defense is your voice your voice is your best defense now I'm talking to the ladies here the vast majority of men can overpower you very quickly okay so even if you're a good fighter and you're you're a little bit uh, you can still get yourself into a rough situation Use your voice. And this is how we do it. So when I'm skating outdoors and I'm in a space, oh, side note, when I'm skating in a space, I don't load up my valuables, keys, cell phone, etc., and put them in the middle and they just skate around them. I keep everything on me. Keep your stuff on you. Car keys are on you, cell phones on you, money, you're wearing a bum bag, whatever. You got this stuff all packed in tight, okay? So you're not worried about your stuff. Okay, you're skating around. You gotta have good observational skills, all right? You gotta be aware of what's going on. If you see someone approach you, as my daddy said, talk first. When someone comes up to you and they start asking you questions like they do, tell me, does it make you feel uncomfortable or does it make you start searching for answers to these questions and wondering whether or not you should be answering questions? You shouldn't. Speak first, don't answer questions. Now this is how I do it and this is a fun party game for you and your friends. So I'm skating around, moving around, like having a good old time and someone looks at me and I know they're, I know they're coming over. It's feeling weird already and usually I'll just say in a very direct manner, hey, how's it going? Just like that, not in that nice manner. You know the difference between like, hi, how are you? And hey, how's it going? Okay, my just, hey, how's it going, is a direct, like, I see you, I already know what you're gonna do, and I'm just letting you know that I see you. Okay, if you say, hey, how's it going, just like that, really direct, they will think differently about who it is they are about to encounter. People who want to do you harm, people who want to be, have an, a creepy interaction with you are banking on the fact that you look really great you're out there you're having fun you're skating you're by yourself oh that they can just come right into your space okay they think they can do this as soon as you alert them hey how's it going that you are not a person necessarily to be messed with that's like oh that's not as fun for them it really isn't Okay, the other thing they do, they come up, or if, if, I, if my observational skills aren't on par, and I'll look and someone gets to me before, and they say anything, they say anything. If they say, hey, how you doing? How are you? And I go, how are you? Like, boom, right back. All I do is answer questions with questions. If they say, hey, do you know where the bathrooms are? I go, you don't know where the bathrooms are? <laughs> I mean, it's a full on game, trust me. 
If they're skating outdoors, they know where the bathrooms are. Creepy guys, especially, the bathrooms are everywhere. Okay? <laughs> Am I right? They know. If they ask me, you know, oh, um, you know, how long have you been skating? I go, well, how long have you been skating? Don't answer questions. Just say the question right back to them. And you got to say it in that manner that's very flat. You can't go up. Okay, you can't go up. It's not friendly. It's not like, well, how long have you been skating? I say, how long have you been skating? And you got to look them in the eye. Okay? Now, the entire time that you're doing this, you feel in your side, I am directing this conversation. Okay? They're not going to ask me anything that makes me feel uncomfortable, anything that tries to get me to behave like a polite woman because I heard something uh, that was unsettling. They asked me something that I really don't want to answer. My go-to is to be polite back. Now, I'm not trying to be aggressive. I am not trying to escalate the situation. I don't cuss. I don't tell them that I'm going to do anything violent to them. I just answer questions with questions. This stops a conversation uh, uh, like this. And then my other go-to is when I've stopped them in this manner of asking questions, you know, oh, well, uh, you know, skating, it looks like it's really hard. Does it look like it's really hard? The conversation literally goes nowhere. And they are stopped with just their thoughts of like, how? I am not manipulating this situation like I normally do, all right? The next thing you need to do is, my dad said, tell them what you want them to do and stay on point. My next thing I tell them is I say, hey, I'm gonna get back to skating here and you should get back to whatever it is you were doing before you came and spoke to me, okay? Again, I tell them what I'm going to do. I tell them what they're going to do. If they say, oh, 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 you know, they don't know what to say. And I go, go ahead. You were on a walk. Seemed like it was fun. Go ahead. Go walk. Because I'm going to go skate. You have to be direct. You could do it with a smile. Look, a nice hand gesture. You know, <laughs> literally. You can go back on your walk. Because I'm going to go back skating. You have to be direct. I promise you, this works. I've done it a million times outside. And it, you, the more, <laughs> I'm telling you, you got to practice this with your friends because it gets to be actually kind of funny. Because when you repeat back something that someone has just said to you, especially if it's creepy, weird, or even kind of like, hmm, dangerous, it's hilarious when you repeat it back to them that they're like oh my god this is not the way that i expected this conversation to go okay so when it gets to that and i've now directed them and i go back to skating but all eyes i'm looking 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 if i feel unsafe at all i just scoot out to my car you know wherever i'm at get to a safe place and whatnot I promise you skaters, the vast majority, the vast, vast majority of you are not going to get hurt when you're out skating. No one's really out there to attack you, okay? There's no need for mace, knives, and guns unless you are uh, like well-versed in the usage of these items. Your best defense is your voice and don't be afraid to use it. Do not be afraid to use it. Technically, we're not being impolite, are we? Someone says, how are you? And you say, how are you? I'm not being impolite. I'm just not answering questions. When I tell them what they can do, what they can get back to doing, while I get back to doing what I was doing, I'm not being impolite. I'm just directing the situation. You are the director of your own movie when you go out skating, okay? Don't let them tell you what to say. You're going to flip their script on them every single time. And I'm telling you, it's super fun. I've done it with multiples. Like have two gentlemen come up on me and they start 
you know, bantering back and they start asking me questions and I'm observing and taking it all in and I'm thinking like, huh, I don't even feel, I don't even feel like it, 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 this situation is dangerous. Maybe this situation just isn't even worth my time. Maybe I came out here to practice, like Dirty says, and I got two randoms coming up to me just wanting to fill their day with a, a, a talk with a stranger. Look, I don't have time for that. Can't invade my life like that. So I've got to shush you off nice and quickly by speaking first if you can. God, if you speak first, it's gold. You are definitely in control. Never answering questions. Always come back with a question and then direct them as to what they're going to do and what you're going to do. And I promise you, you will get out of this situation nicely, nicely. And the more you do it and the better you get at it, the more effective it is. And can I just say this? Handling stuff in this manner may be useful in other aspects of your life. <laughs> really, it can. So thanks to my dad for telling me that my voice is my best defense. Okay, that is a piece of advice he gave me before I left for college and it served me well because I've learned that your college years are really the years where this really comes into play, these kinds of interactions, right? As you get a little bit older, less people just randomly coming up to you. I think they just look at me now and be like, that girl, no. <laughs> she looks like she may carry a knife. <laughs> Who knows? All right, skaters, I got to go. I got to run. Go practice.